The moment is upon us. 155 pounds, ubiquitously regarded as one of, if not the deepest, toughest division in mixed martial arts. My dad always keeps saying Islam is a future champ. All chasing that man, Charles Dubronx Oliveira. People, a lot of people think you're the greatest ever. Can Islam actually be better than you, Habib? Is, is that possible? Definitely it's possible. There is fighters, there is champion, there is elite. And uh, I think well, he will go. Islam is elite. His ability all across every area in mixed martial arts is second to none. <laughs> Beautiful job by Makachev. Great UFC debut! I love that style, man. I really do. I love that he can do that. I love that he imposes it on everybody. The and nobody the wants to be there. And he spent a ton of time with Abib's dad before he passed away. A lot of people talk about Islam being the new coming of Khabib. The Khabib 2.0. Okay, you guys need opponent for Charles Oliveira. Everybody knows his name. His name is Islam Makachev. I'm ready for title fight. fight. Please, anyone doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, we will see. But he's fighting a different kind of grappler here tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov mauls people. It's the best way to describe his style. But it's him, and there's just not that many people. And Habib right now is teeing off on Michael Johnson. Wow! Unbelievable. Okay. Because we're gonna smash your boy. And when he gets a hold of people, it almost seems like they're shocked at how strong he is. Twenty-three and he's gonna mount him, and now Johnson's really doomed. This should be it. Michael should tap, or he's gonna break his arm. He's gonna break his arm. Hit is all over. Habib Nurmagomedov moves to 24 and 0. Hey guys, Irish only 6 million, Russian 150 million. I want to fight with your chicken because this is number one easy fight in lightweight division. Alhamdulillah. I, I, I talk with uh, between every round with Dana. I say, hey, after this fight, don't send me your bullshit fake contract. Don't send me real contract. I want to beat your son. Not taking that. Which I don't know, nobody can take this point. I came back for the love of this, to come and shut this man up. A little rat, a little weasel, a little hard man in groups. I am going to truly, truly love putting a bad, bad beating on this little glass jaw rat. This is everything what I expect. Uh, I'm come here for smash this guy. I don't smash me, talk. mate! I can smash you say you. send your lo send location, here he is right here in front of you. I'm right in front of you. Did you not see me at the outside the bus now? Did you not see me right in front of you outside the fucking bus? I showed you my hands. No weapons. You talked the big game, now I'm here. He done fucking nothing. He sat and took a shit on that bus. Send me a message, like location, location, I'm gonna come. Whatever you want, doesn't matter. Ireland, New York, Brooklyn, or Moscow, doesn't matter. I tell you, I can fight with Nate Diaz, Conor McGregor, Eddie Alvarez, with all these guys, same night. I can fight with these guys. There was a warrant out for Conor McGregor's arrest. Uh, he's got some beef with Khabib. 
because of the Artem thing that went down. Listen, you don't like Habib and you don't like what happened or whatever, then fight Habib. But if you want to find me, please, just send me a location. Habib's last two opponents, very good defensive wrestlers, Michael Johnson and Edson Barboza. Nurmagomedov still had his way with them. Two Beasted easy. him down. Beasted him down. Beasted and those that train with him say he feels like a light heavyweight. You just feel the physical pressure of Khabib. He's getting mauled like everybody else before him. Right. That's a lifetime of high-level grappling. Yaquinta, Yaquinta is a real Brooklyn gangster. This is not about chicken. Yaquinta is a real gangster. He come here, where's Connor? He, he want to fight with Bass? I want to fight with real gangster, you know. 26 and 0, 10 and 0 in UFC. UFC undisputed, undefeated, lightweight champion. Alhamdulillah. I don't give a fuck what he's going to try and do. He's going he's to be swinging wildly like he is, sloppy, shooting for the legs. He's an amateur. He's a 20, would you believe he's 26 and 0? I've never met a tw an unbeaten an unbeaten amateur uh, in, in the professional game. I mean, he's fucking for nobody. Absolutely nobody. Anyone that he's half for has been decisions. Khabib, is it uh, is it difficult for you to maintain your composure in this situation when he's getting up, getting in your face? I stay relaxed, man. I stay relaxed. I don't feel nothing. I know I have location. I stay on bus. Six. Six I October. stay on bus. Yeah, I never you get me hands on you, do you hear me? You just show up to this fight, and we do this the noble way. Pull out, and then you know what's going to happen to you back home, kid. So that's all I'll say about what's that. I'm here what's for the joy. To enjoy what's going to happen? Hey, you ask your friend why he eat the slip. You ask him. You have to ask him. You have to ask him. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna smash your boy, guys. I'm gonna smash your boy. And tomorrow night, inshallah, and still. Thank you, sir. Good luck to you. The champion, ladies and gentlemen. The king is back. Looking to regain his throne. McGregor exploded there to try to escape, nothing doing. Big ground and pound. And Khabib said he wanted to make Connor suffer. He's the best ground and pound artist in the sport. Oh, oh, he's getting lit up. Khabib is trying to smash his face. That's how Puck has it, Dwayne, one bit. And he gets tripped right down. Too good. There's the choke. He's got it, it's under the net. There it is. There's the tap. Dylan Dennis, Conor McGregor's jiu-jitsu coach. Look at him. Oh, and no, now Khabib no, no, jumps no, the no, fence. No, no, no. Whoa! No, no. And he's going right at Dylan Dennis. Oh, oh no. Well, Khabib wasn't kidding when he said no handshake after the fight. Oh! Oh, geez. And now what if Nurmagomedov's teammates throws a right hand at Conor? What caused you to, to jump over the cage and, and to go after uh, Connor's team? I don't understand how people can talk about I jump on the cage, you know? What about he talk my, about my religion, he talk about my country, he talk about my father. It, it was too eerie. I kept saying this is too crazy, man. Everybody made weight, everything's so smooth, everything's this and that. Nobody saw Habib diving over the, you know, he scaled that thing like he was a parkour guy. It happened so fast. I know there's a lot of media here tonight, and some of you, this is your first event. 
can promise you this is not what a mixed martial arts event is normally like. Like religion, you you cannot talk about religion, you cannot talk about nation, and you know, this is for me is very important. So much, thank you guys, thank you for waiting for me here. I know my, my father gonna smash when I go home because I know he's gonna smash me. Ну и сегодня я в прямом эфире пригласил и Конора. Да. Да, я сделал такое заявление, пригласил Конора в гости. И почему бы, значит, ему не посетить Дагестан? На самом деле его простили. Да. Ну и Хабиб никогда, значит, чего объявлял я, значит, он. C242 will see one of the most highly anticipated matchups. When you go to Abu Dhabi, it's going to be a good memory for us. And his opponents. UFC lightweight champion, number three ranked pound for pound fighter in the world, Habib Nurmagomedov. I like his boxing, you know, his movement, everything, but I don't know what he's going to do with my wrestling and with my pressure. Yeah, well, I think that Habib is a big star and, uh, you know, ever since the Connor fight, this is his first fight back. More than 20 people, like almost 30 people. You know, Zuba fight, Sam fight, I have fight, you know. Everybody have support, family, friends, brothers, all close people. It's gonna be a huge, huge event. Because Javier did a very strong job, a good job, I saw him. I hope that Это будет один из лучших выступлений. Кабиб, let's go! I come from mountain, from Dagestan. I train all my life. My father teach us wrestling, combat sambo. I want to become best lightweight ever. I want to take belt and retire undefeated and undisputed UFC lightweight champion. A little bit exciting, you know. I can drink, I can eat, and tomorrow night I can and smash now something. Now we are to present the ceremonial weight. And his opponent, the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, the legal Khabib Nurmagomedov. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning UFC lightweight champion. There can be only one king of the jungle. Respect between these two combatants. The only thing Habib really took issue with was some of the promotion that was champion versus champion. He says, I am the champion, he is the interim champ. When I fight with Dustin Poirier in Abu Dhabi, it was first time when he was with me in corner, you know. I look at him, I understand he's nervous. I tell him, hey, how you feel? <laughs> it's like, he say, I'm okay, but I feel he's not okay. <laughs> the gear team's in, but it's not super tight yet. Honestly, I feel pressure. I feel pressure when he was with me a little bit. Dustin Poirier That's working tight. on a gear team here. I'm thinking, like, Dustin is like crazy guy. He think I'm gonna tap in front of my father. <laughs> I say everything is gonna be good, I'm gonna finish this. Sticks with it. Wow! Romago Meno pops his head out, crowd goes bananas. And now see Khabib's father, Abdulmanaf, right there. Can't breathe, it hurts your nose. And it's not really, that's in. That's it. Romago Meno under the chin, there's the top! Khabib Romago Meno, 28 and 0! Incredible, absolutely incredible the way he dominates people in the grappling. Thank you for my father. MMA is number one thing is respect. MMA is not all about trash talking. Well, you know what just happened is Habib proved that he's the best in the world and he's on track to being the probably the very best pound for pound greatest fighter of all time.
He's proved it. Next week, I'm gonna become number one pump for pump fighter in the world. This is crazy. From mountain Dagestan, I come here and you know, because of God, God gave me everything. Uh, when my dad with me, I have always new belt. <laughs> everything is good. This is a global pandemic. An extraordinary global crisis. 200,000 people died from COVID-19. No one was immune. Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov passed away due to complications stemming from COVID-19. His father has guided him from the very beginning. Has endured a deeply personal tragedy. You're effectively walking into a new life after you lose your dad. My father, every day I think about him. Not only for me, for a lot of guys, you know, because he take care of a lot of people in Dagestan. What might be next for Nurmagomedov, whenever that may be? I'm still hungry. I really want to compete with the best fighter in the world. This is my dream. He is likely to return, but tonight's winner of this interim title fight is getting that crack against Nurmagomedov. Oh, oh my goodness. He broke down Tony Ferguson in a way that we never thought was even possible. I'm here with the winner and new interim champion, Justin Gaethje. Do you not want that on you? Why'd you just, why'd you just throw that off? Wait for the real one. Khabib is the best in the world. I was, I've been working since I was four for challenges like this. I think Justin is a great opponent. He never, he never gave up. But I'm ready for all rounds, you know, all five round world. But my goal on this fight, uh, make him fight it and uh, choke him out. all time. I'm curious if we could get an update on, on how things look. So how's it tracking and what is it about this one that's making it special? Habib is one of the biggest stars in all of sports, not just the UFC. So if he beats Justin on Saturday, I think he's, he's the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. I think him and the corner is two most dangerous guys in first round. But if you talk about second round, third round, uh, they become like a little bit regular fighters. I'm just sorry. Here we proceed with the champion. Can Justin Gaethje get it done, or does Khabib? His usual role is manic favorite, minus 315. Justin Gaethje is plus 250. Gaethje is in blue with the gold trim. Khabib is in You notice Gaethje stands a little lower today, opposed to the Ferguson fight. Before he was very tall, almost in a lower stance, more of a wrestling stance. Nice jab lands for Nurmagomedov. About two minutes have gone by. There's that patented leg kick from Gaethje. Nurmagomedov has a fantastic jab, man. Pressure that Habib is putting on Gaethje right now. And that left hand of the goal drew a smile out of Gaethje. The whole time he's got Justin on his heels. He's not allowing Justin oh! to take the center of the octagon. Unlike this. in awe of your greatness once again. I will give you as much time to gather your emotions, but I see your corner men taking the gloves off. Your thoughts on an epic championship performance tonight. Congratulations. Today, I want to say, this it was my last fight. And no way I'm going to come here without my father. 
when UFC called me about Justin, I talked with my father, my mother, three days. She don't want to go fight without father, but I promise her it's going to be my last fight. And if I give my word, I have to follow this. What I want from UFC Tuesday, you guys have to put me on number one pound for pound fighter in the world because I deserve this. My dad always keeps saying Islam is a future champion. Islam was for my father like his son. That's why I have to be here and that's why I have to finish what my father beginning. I'm born in Dagestan, Mahachkala. But all my life I live here in this village. Islam Mahachev uh, in blue for Russia, looking for a uh, for single leg. Uh, uh, was the Bulgarian, the Russian defense very well injured. <laughs> The last two fights Habib didn't defy me, he did exactly what we wanted him to do, but Islam's always done that. He is a professional all the way through and through and he's got a great IQ. He is outstanding, he's the leader of this new crew, if you will, of Russian fighters that are going to compete with that combat sambo background in the octagon. Возьмем Ислама Хачева, он пришел во втором классе. Сейчас он 20 лет. Вместе дома, с семьей, на сборах, на соревнованиях. He's got a great IQ, you know, and great grappling, as you, as you saw. So, uh, yeah, he did me very proud, and the whole team, you know, Father's Plan was in full effect. Thank you, mind, sir. Maybe not in this one, right? <laughs> oh, there you go, Makachev with a beautiful trip, just like you said. As I mentioned during the walk-in, coached by Habib Nurmagomedov's father. That fish is cool now, so... Stop, it's over. He'll go get it. There it is. He's got the arm. And there's the time. I meet Habib and his father. We went to the same school as Habib. Create some space. Uh, I'm lucky to throw kicks. Now he knows how to throw. It's look not it. fair that everyone puts pressure on you to be the, the, the next Habib. Oh, if somebody say I'm like Islam, like almost same like Habib, I agree with you. Jeff senses that. Gets a big take down. Oh, he gets it with the knee. We practice together all the time. I improve a lot because I came because all my life I completed this gym. Ah, glorious. And he is all over the I wanted to see where he's training, who is coaches, and I went to the same gym. Looking to finish this fight. It's over. It is all over. It's my coach. He had big experience. I want to be like Habib, you know, he's a great man, you know, he's champion. How good does it feel to take advantage of what Habib said was your Madison Square Garden moment? And submit that hooker 
with the same thing that he submitted Michael Johnson with back then. I want I want to stay humble, but I have to talk because your guys talk. Let's get a break his arm. Break his arm. Then it's all over. Irish only six million. Russian 150 million. It's his arm. He's attacking Kamura, right, Paul? Now he's inside oh, he's control. That's a problem. I want to fight with your chicken because this is number one easy fight in lightweight division. Brother, now it's time. Before it was like top 11, top 15, somewhat, but this guy number six. Now I have to talk. Yeah, oh, he's got to go ahead here. This is oh, not good. Nine fight win streak. I'm ready for, for title fight. Please, anyone, doesn't matter. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Submitted him in the first round and once again showed why he is nothing to be played with. Very close with his title now. 2022 is going to be my year. I always say, Alhamdulillah, this is mean like, thanks God for everything. I pray five times every day and if I need something, I ask God. That's why after all bad things, good things happen, you know. This is a very hard time, not just for me, you know, for all team. The passing of Abdumanab due to the COVID situation was a really sad thing for everybody. Habib is taken from his father, the coaching. He carries his passion for coaching and, and the love for his guys that the great one left behind. I know him like more than 20 years. He trained with my father like almost all his life. He was my father's favorite student. We lose not just coach, you know. We lose like second father for all teams. Habib is probably the greatest fighter of all time, but he's been coaching his whole life. When he was fighting, after his sparring session, he'd wait around for his brothers like Islam and Umar to spar and coach them. So this is not new for him, and that's why he's going to be the greatest coach of all time if that's what he chooses to do. If he still fighting, he will be still champion now. Habib's father all the time told me, hey, when Habib retired, you have to take this belt. This big motivation for me. One day, I have to take this belt. Fighting Adam Makhachkal, Russia, presenting the Combat Sambo World and European Champion, Islam in the top five, you would think, after pulling off a victory. Yeah. Look at how he took down Dan Hooker. Here we go. Kachev now attacking. Looking for a trip. It's passing the test to keep the feet early. So far, but Islam will yeah. be relentless. I mean, he is relentless. Locked, he's hands are locked. Yeah. Look at that. He's going to get a decision. Rain down the gloves to set up a submission. Oh God, not on, not flat on his back, on his right shoulder. Oh, watch the Kimura. Looks like he's got Dan Hooker. Full Build the base. Oh, he's got to pick the direction. He's got kind of to pick your poison. Yeah. This is he's going to step in. He's going to do it. Wow. Islam Makacha delivers. I just won a title fight. No more. I'm tired about all these things. I need title fight. I'm ready. I am here. O campeão se chama Charles Oliveira. This is going to be a hard time for Charles Oliveira. This is not just in cages, no parier, no, 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 This is what Islam gonna do with Charles Alibera. He's gonna ride him. Like, how you ride your horse? It's very good, obviously. This is the guy scared you? You think he's scared? 
Of course. A pessoa que assiste o MMA, que entende o MMA, sabe que o nome do campeão do peso sabe o Charles Oliveira. Isso não vai mudar. Porém, eu acho, não vou fugir do medo disso, eu acho que ele vem surfando numa onda que não é dele. É a onda do Khabib. Essa é a real. Essa luta aconteceu porque o Khabib fez acontecer. Charles Oliveira tem drone again. Don't have drone again. If you tap eight times in UFC, how can how you can say you have drone again? But he got better. Vou nocautear o Charles uma caixa de no round. Eu vou mostrar que sou um dos melhores dos melhores. I think Charles wins that fight. I think it's crazy that Islam is a favorite. Tô indo pra sua casa, meu amigo, lutar contra você pra fazer história e continuar como campeão dos pesos leve. Escuta bem o que eu tô falando pra você. A arrogância de vocês vai matar vocês, vai afundar vocês. Charles is good, you know, he has good striking, good round game, but I'm ready everywhere. I think um, Charles Oliveira wins. I think he gets a finish within three. Simple. But I feel like Charles is just on this momentum now. Charles Oliveira. But all my life I training for this moment. Charles Oliveira is a guy that has been dominating people, but... But I already beat many black belts. When you talk, when your team talks, they all talk as if you're gonna dominate this dude. All his opponents, they scared to go with him to ground, you know? I'm gonna take him down. I'm gonna stop him. Habib all his life beat many black belts, that's why we already know which sport better for MMA. Question for Islam, at media day yesterday, you said you wanted to finish him on the ground. Why is it so important for you to finish it that way on Saturday? Because he have record, the most finished in the UFC, I want to take this record. And I know I'm gonna finish him because he always give up. I'm gonna do this again. Two of the best in a division ubiquitously regarded as the best in the sport. Islam Akasha, the minus 195 betting favorite to become a first-time UFC champion against the credentialed Charles Dubronx Oliveira, who is plus 165. Mixed martial arts at its finest. Two of the best for 20% off today and tomorrow. Expect Oliveira to go forward. Islam with a big left hand early. It looked like he hurt him. The pressure of Oliveira. As expected, starts to throw submissions right away. I'm um, really trying to make sure he gets either both arms in or out here. Nice job. Nice up. Charles is going deep half sweep here. Trying to get up. Nice job there from Oliveira. He's got Look for the knee. Makashev pressed against the side of the octagon. Took his Brazilian Portuguese to tell Charles Oliveira that his hand off the top of the octagon and now taken down. Submits the greatest finisher in UFC 
victory. The belt en route to Dagestan. I want to get the submission. Unbelievable. I just promote this fight for four is choke. I say this is my goal and Allah give me. And I just want to say, you see, this my belt for my coach, Abdul Manab Nurmagomedov. Many years ago, he told me, just training hard and you're going to be champion. And I want to give this belt. I, him and his father make me, I know. Habib. Talk to me about what you're feeling right now in this moment. Brother, all life, all life was trained together. 22 years we was trained together. And the last couple of years, I told you guys, Islam Mahacho is the best fighter, not in lightweight. He's a pump for pump number one fighter in right now, today. Now is our plan. Fly to all the way to Australia and fight in pump for pump King backyard with Valkanovski. Let's do it. Islam, is there anything you want to say to the pound for pound best fighter in the world, Alexander Volkanovsky. I didn't see this short guy, bring him here. Get Volkanovsky in here. This guy said he wants to fight you in Australia. The finish championship against you where you try to become a double champion. Are you down? Let's do it, hey. The lightweight on the line, pound for pound number one on the line, let's do it. We've been talking about Father's Plan for a while there, ever since the great Abdulmanab passed away. And you saw a showcase of what his plan has been all along. And Islam Makhachev, 100%, did exactly what uh, we, we expected him to do. The limit for what Islam has, it's super, super high. We'll see where he goes from here, but I'm so proud of him. And, and Abdulmanab is also looking down. So proud of him, so proud. He trains so hard and he very disciplined. And he has championship mentality. You just have to just follow your plan. Just be yourself and go. You no, know, I was champion finish now. Islam is champion. This is like amazing. You know, this is very big, very big history now for us and for all mixed martial arts.